Welcome back. I fuck no more. Welcome back to Tales of Exilia. Um, it's been a while. I know. I'm sorry. I'm getting back to these videos. But, uh, welcome back. Uh, if I remember correctly, we're on the ship right now. I don't know. But uh, how about we just get straight into it? I'll be quiet now. That captain needs to lay off a bit. Is he planning to grill us the entire voyage? What do you expect? We don't have any sort of identification. Speak for yourselves. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. Look, we're leaving Fenmont's spirit climb. You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you save us? What's in it for you? Well, cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. Charge us what? I'm nearly broke. Same goes for me, I'm afraid. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? A rich relatives about to croak? Nothing on me. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high price either. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier, but you sure don't act like one. <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people. For a price. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. Charity work. Wonderful. <sighs> Are we there yet? <sighs> All right. Bye, Bo. <laughs> It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. Although it feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is hardly what I'd call exotic. Huh. Hey, there's a map. Let me check it out for a bit. Brave kid. The way he plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, right? He insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. Either way, he's still acting like an adult. North of here. Hmm. So? You leaving now? No. Alvin, you must be well versed with the sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? 
Before? Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. So you won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well... There's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven, right? Let's take a look around. Scenes in this. Oh my god. I was just looking at the recording time and it's like five minutes. Early. And these are 30 minute videos. This is a riveting footage we're about to post to YouTube. Hey there. You've got a request, right? How about letting us handle it? Oh, you're mercenaries. Oh, perfect timing. What kind of request? Someone's got a problem with monsters, and we get paid to solve their problem. Oh, so by taking on these jobs, you get the reward, and I get the practice. Right, everybody wins, well, except the monsters. Okay, hit us with the details. Some monsters we've never seen before are lurking near a lake west of the Sea Haven. A lot of people depend on that lake for water, so those monsters have become a real nuisance. I'm looking for someone to exterminate the beasts. What's the reward? Cash, of course. You heard the woman. Thoughts? Sounds fine to me. Fighting monsters will be good training. Excellent. Now these beasts are no pushovers, so please watch yourselves. About your sword training, the monsters aren't just going to stand there like training dummies, you know? We should go... I appreciate it. What was that right now? Is that because I skipped the conversation? More, come on! Ready your sword. Well, that'll do. You have my gratitude. Shall we go? Wait, Jude. Take a moment to consider your situation. You don't have to stay with me anymore, you know. Uh, right. Now that we've crossed the border, it'll be a while before any pursuers from Rashugal get here. What are you suggesting? Just that he still has some time to think things over. Sorry, I'll make up my mind by the time you set off. Okay, very well. Let's go and complete that request. You thought you were doing the right thing. Now you're on the run. That's a pretty tough lesson for a kid your age. Yeah, but I brought it upon myself. I let them talk. I'm gonna let them talk. This was surging with mana when they activated their so-called Lance of Kresnik. So this must be the key they used to arm it. Do you want something? Whoa, hold your fire. I come in peace. Can't a mercenary have a friendly chat with his client? That much is fine. But when you want to chat, you needn't hold your breath and sneak up behind me. Sheesh. You make me sound so unsavory. Do you berate poor Jude like this too? I don't intend to berate anyone. That was never my intention. Do try to be gentle with him. Boys can be so vulnerable. That's a surprisingly tender sentiment. That's what it says on my business card. The mercenary with a heart of gold. Those are good words to live by. Although, with a motto like that, I can't imagine you'd live very long. <laughs> Not the type to sugarcoat things, are you? Save one more time.
Why? Because I don't want to watch that scene again. That's too much for me. Too much scene -ish. Have at he, monsters! Hmm. My Lilium orb is shining. Mine too. Wait, you two have orbs too? Great! We should try linked combat. What's that? Lilium orbs are handy things. They let you sense your companion's intent. That's a huge advantage in battle. You can coordinate your thoughts to pull off combination attacks. We call this linking. Sounds great, but how do we do it? Try it and see for yourself. Focus your consciousness into the Lilium Orb. I forgot. Alright, try linking up. So this is linking. Okay, it's time to flank them. Onward, attack! I can sense Jude's next movement. <laughs> hey, watch your back. I'll help. <laughs> It's time to finish them off. Now! I think you're ready to learn some linked arts. You! Demon fist! You! Burn! You! One! Roger! Oh, final kill! Oh, you! Oh, you! Oh, 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 Victory born from cooperation and friendship. Not bad, right? Yes, I quite like it. I feel much better knowing I'm not fighting alone. <laughs> right there with you, buddy. I won't let anyone excellent. Okay, now we're good. Alright, they leveled up. Awesome. Alright, cool. Oh, no, we got Say one more time. Riveting footage. Riveting footage. I'm just saving, watching cutscenes. You guys just saw me learn things. Here, monster, let's go. Here we go again. to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. 
I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what... Wait. Was it? You know, I think there used to be a town around here. Want to take a peek? But we haven't completed our job yet. Come on, school's out. Your homework doesn't have a due date anymore. When you accept the request, you can take it at your own pace. Is that the way it works? That's the way it works. The whole reason you took the request was to pay my fee, right? If you see another opportunity to make a few bucks, feel free to make that the priority. I had been planning to get you paid in Niakara. That's so? Well, you're the client. At the end of the day, it's your call. To. Just trying to organize all of my notes for my thesis. Those in the books at a time like this? You sure are studious. Yeah, probably a waste of time. I'm sure I've already been expelled being an X-marked criminal and all. Ah, cheer up, kid. If I get a chance, I'll testify to the military and the school on your behalf. Shouldn't be hard to make the case that you're just a poor kid who got sucked into this. Thanks. But aren't you a wanted criminal too? Ah, that. I guess I did flee along with you. So if we get captured, I'll testify for you. I'll tell them that you're nowhere near as shady as you look. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Get killed! Demon 
the power of Maxwell. I died? Fucking moron, Jude. must be the monsters we're supposed to- Indeed. They certainly don't look like the normal fauna for this area. All right, let's get the job done. training than an actual battle. You got that right. Let's head back to Alati Sea Haven and make a report. Boing, boing, boing. You're starting to look pretty good with that blade. Hmm. I do seem to possess an aptitude for sword fighting. Mm. Hey, 
accept your request. Those monsters won't be tinkling in your water supply anymore. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. And that's how it's done. More where that came from, too. Lots of people with problems out there. And gall to make them go away. You're a real pro at this, Alvin. Hey! Hmm. No fever. How are you feeling? I don't seem to have any strength. Um, have you been eating properly? I've never eaten. Ever? Through Sylph, I drew life from the air. With Undine's power, I received sustenance from the water. What's she talking about? I guess the spirits gave her all the energy she needed. Well, now you're gonna have to nourish yourself the old-fashioned way. I see. So this is what you call hunger. <laughs> Fascinating. So, should we rest at the inn? Now that you mention it, I could use some grub myself. But now we gotta spend to get into the theme. Never to talk to this guy. I'm the hotel keeper. I'll give you guys. Welcome. Okay. Three rooms, please. But before that, can we get something to eat? Oh, my apologies, but our cook isn't in yet. Hey, is she okay? Can we at least use your kitchen? Yes, please. Help yourself. Your friend looks like she's about to pass out. My stomach? It really is growling. <laughs> and here I thought that was just a silly human expression. <laughs> Why does Alvin do that? He's like... So I guess water and tinkling pots makes it all good. <laughs> Food. Hey, not bad. Not bad. It's good. I quite enjoy ingesting calories with you. Humans should learn to cherish these simple pleasures. Stop being a downer, Jude. Jeez. This might be her first time sleeping, too. And apparently she never ate before today, either. Who in the world is she? She claims she's Maxwell. That Maxwell? Yeah. She's apparently a spirit in physical form. Well, not just any spirit. The Lord of Spirits, wielder of the Four Elements, the Eldest Spirit. Maxwell has many names. And now we add Mila to that list? She's supposed to be the Spirit Maxwell? You gotta be kidding me. Is Maxwell really that mighty? Of course. That's why this is so hard to swallow. I grew up hearing bedtime stories about Maxwell. What in the world would a spirit like that be trying to destroy? Trying to destroy? What are you referring to? She called it a Spyrix, I think. The device from the laboratory. Hmm. Maybe I should just ask Mila about it. I don't know. You have a nasty habit of poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Your cursed curiosity made me a wanted man too, you know. <sighs> well, think hard before asking, okay? Yeah, you're right. Good morning. Good day, Jude. 
I was just about to share my plans with Alvin. What is it? I'm thinking of returning to Nia Kara. Is that your hometown? More accurately, it's where my shrine is. If I go back, I might be able to resummon the four. So, she really is Maxwell. This is where you come in, Jude. Will you accompany me to Nia Kara? What? It's true that you brought your current situation upon yourself, but I bear some of the blame as well. I'll put in a good word for you with the people of Nia Kara. I'm sure they'll look after you. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. Yes. Remember when you told me I seemed unconcerned? I decided to take that to heart. Mila, you don't need to practice your swordplay anymore? No need to concern yourself with my martial abilities. Well, if nothing else, you know how to swing the pointy end. Okay. I'll come with you. Good. You needn't worry. A little more practice wouldn't hurt, though. You think so? Better safe than sorry. Come find me once you're ready to go. Wait, you're coming with us, Alvin? Why not? I've come this far. Hey, Mila? Hmm? Thanks. <laughs>